My name is Justin Knight. I'm 22 years old and I've been competitively running for around seven years. My name is Ben Flanagan. I've been running since grade nine of high school. Sisters dragged me out and I naturally was pretty good at it and just go, kept going back every single day and with some phenomenal mentoring, really fell in love with the sport and I've been doing it ever since. We call it a tempo run, but it's a little slower than a tempo run really. Just kind of a steady run. We call this an easy, hard day. I mean, this is a distance-based track club. We have about 10 athletes right now. Kids are working hard for uh, outdoor track season. Some of the things that I've accomplished in my running career, the most notable is probably my NCAA championship in the 10,000 meter. Some of the accomplishments that I'm most proud of is winning two NCAA championships as an individual in the 5,000 meter indoor and as well as NCAA cross country championship. You got five strides to do, okay, about 80 meters. I think we put on a show for the cows. It's really about them, you know? It's not mm. even about us up here. We're just uh, out here trying to entertain the animals. Didn't push the pace too too far or too fast. And, uh, you know, we did it a little bit faster than we were expected to. So that's always a good day and we still feel good. Oh, I was really pleased. They, like I heard them say, they ran a little faster than we asked them, but they always do. Justin's best race is the 10K, but he's not ready, he's not ready to do it yet. He's a 5K. He's a really great 5K, one of the best guys in the world in the 5K. And uh, one day he'll be one of the best in the world at 10K. Great combination of, of speed and strength. And that's what you want. Ben's a 10K guy. Even as a 10K guy, you know, that's what I would identify myself as. Like you're racing guys who do run 352 in the mile. You gotta get those mile times down too. And, you gotta train for those distances a little bit because at the end of the day, even if you're a 10K guy, the last 400 of the race is gonna close in 55, 56. And you know, no matter what, you need leg speed for that. So what happens is you take a guy like Rob Demanic, who specializes in the mile and I go out and do some 200s and 300s with him and I'm holding on for dear life, but he's like taking me through a pretty good workout. And then to return the favor, we go out for a seven mile tempo and I can lead him through a pretty good workout. So. Um, and that, that's kind of, again, Coach Fox's philosophy is he likes people to be elite runners. He doesn't want someone to be specifically an elite 10K guy, elite marathon, or elite road racer. He wants guys to be able to excel at multiple distances because, you know, ultimately that's going to that's gonna make you a versatile athlete, but it's also going to um, optimize your ability in your specific event. So it's been pretty cool. We got some Harmony Road 3s, some Float Ride Run Fast, some Sweet Roads, Harmony 2s, Harmony 3s, 2s, 2s, Sweet Road 2s, Sweet Road, Sweet Road. I'll show you my whole collection too that I got. We live in a house with uh, five guys. Four of them, including myself, are on the team. They know what it takes to like get to the highest level and stuff, so it's just good being around like people with that kind of mindset where they know what it takes. This is just a normal routine. Kind of come back, eat breakfast, make a little lunch and go to work. At the house, we're constantly, you know, rolling out, stretching, recovering, focusing on next runs. But at the same time, we really take our, our time away from the sport seriously as well. And we like to joke about things that are completely unrelated to running. I've spent more hours in this chair than I have running my whole life. <laughs> Your butt's probably molded into that thing at this point. We have a rule that if it's dinner time and there's more than three people sitting here, you have to light the candles. No one really knows why we do it, but this is where all the hard work gets done. So CB's making pancakes over here. Mm, chocolate protein, baby. Here we go, made from scratch, big deal. Upstairs we go. So this is my room, probably the best room in the house. As I already told you, it's a lot cleaner than it would have been if you guys snuck up on me. There's even candles in here too, so oh. I like have it all set up. This is my plant. We named it Sherry. You know, it's a low maintenance plant, so it works out really well for me. I have to hang these up as well. But two older sisters, mom and dad, 
This is us jumping really high. And this is probably the most exciting thing going on here is my shoe collection. These are all the ones I run in. And each day, or each shoe kind of is meant for a different day. These are like typical easy day, Harmony Road 2s. Um, the Sweet Road 2s I like to use on like dirt roads if we're starting to pick it up a little bit. These have got some serious use to them. Um, the Float Ride Run Fast. This is only when we get ripping and when I race in. These are the spikes. This is a Canadian singlet that I really like. Um, this is uh, when I ran at the World Championships in Big Gauch, Poland. Since I've graduated and moved on to the professional scene, my day is very different. I have a lot more free time on my hands and I try to kind of keep my brain active. I actually have Rosetta Stone to learn French. I have a PS4, so I play lots of Fortnite. If I'm playing solos, I'll just try to hide in a bush. This is one of my favorite shirts right here. Something my dad would wear back in the day when he was my age, so. Lemon chicken, it's one of my specialties. I've been trying to incorporate stuff in my day where you know I still feel like I'm active and I'm getting outside. And It's a pretty big running community and all of them, like since I got here on day one, they're just like, have you been to Ragged Mountain? So I took it upon myself to check it out. And plus we have Philo working here too, so. Our Ragged Mountain man was the first guy to ever break four minutes in the mile. And he did it right right the year before we opened. So we used him as our, he was totally into it, it was very cool. Go up there and see how long it took. Wow. It took 30 years. And just as a tradition, if you break the four minute mile, we do a limited edition shirt after their eligibility is up. Yeah, thank you for letting us drop by your store. I appreciate it, man. Our pleasure. We loved having him. Later in the day, depending on what day it is, I would have a massage appointment or some sort of physio appointment. Welcome to Dr. Get. You know, the engine's good and everything's working. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, so basically, as of right now, I feel a lot better since the last time I came in here. Yeah. Um, I have a little bit of, of a problem just like in this area and like around here. That turf toe, that's yeah. what we're talking about in there. Right now, I just want to scream, but since the camera's rolling. We are going to get a massage. I mean, we've been we've been working hard. Like we're now about a month out from like the next race, so we kind of have the luxury of being able to train hard and not have to like worry about having tired legs for any upcoming races. So this is a unique period where it's like you know we really focus on on getting better or building aerobic strength. There's definitely a lot of different philosophies in terms of how the strength training fits into the running world. Um, so everyone's going to be a little bit different in their approach. For me, I like it as uh, like a supplementary type of training. You know, when we go into strength training, it's not that like we want to get big or put on muscle, it's we want to get better at running. Yeah. So how does strength training fit into that? So same with massage. The goal isn't to totally shred our muscles, it's to, mm -hmm. you know, make running better. So mm -hmm. that's kind of the priority that everything else revolves around. Yep, all done, flushed out, a little bit more to do, but Legs definitely feel a lot better after a nice massage, as they always do, so it's a treat. As a professional athlete, I'm just so competitive. Like, if I'm competing at something, I'm trying to win, no matter what it is. I don't care who I'm going up against. Obviously, I respect, like, the various athletes that are at a certain level, like the Olympic gold medalists and silver medalists, but I'm a competitive person, too, and I'm always going to try to win. We're in the nice yellow building over here. <laughs> Looks like I'm not the last one to get here, but not the first. This is our HQ. Things it's kind of a work in progress, but we got some stuff in here. So, got the couches, important thing. Yeah. I'll just chill out. <laughs> so, I'm from a city called Kitchener, Ontario, and that's in Canada, um, about 45 minutes from Toronto. So, that's where Justin's from. So, we got two Canadian boys on the team representing. Since I was running in high school, I always dreamed of running pro. That was always my goal. So I'm really just trying to make the most of it and stay grateful every day. I'm the type of person that sets unrealistic goals for themselves. When I first got into college, you know, I wasn't as good as I am today, but I knew where I wanted to be and I knew what I had to do to get an opportunity to run professionally. We do 
a run, get some strides in like you guys are seeing out there, and then we'll finish up the day with some core. I'm gonna put these boys through the ringer today. A lot of the time it doesn't feel like a job, but there's expectations that are outlined, and it's really important for me to take this job very seriously. Dude, I do core more than any of you guys. That's a fact. <laughs> That's my job, yeah. to bring these kids down here and train as a group, to try to run fast, and this is their best situation, and creates good energy. And Do an extra 150. I knew Ben, uh, I knew him from when I was in high school. He was one of the kids that I really, really looked up to because, uh -huh. uh, you know, I didn't run my whole life. And then when I first got on the scene, like Ben was just this kid that was completely unbeatable. Now we're just pumped. We want to be on a, a lot more Canadian teams together. Um, now at the higher level, the senior level, World Championships, Olympic Games, you know, our goal is definitely to be um, two of the top athletes in Canada. So it's pretty cool to be at the same place training towards that. I'm just going to say it straight up, I set high expectations for myself. For world championships, I want to be a winner. I want to be the first person to cross that line in whatever race I'll be running. The next step is just trying to prepare for the international stage and to start qualifying for world championships and Olympic Games. All said and done, I think a couple goals that I've set for myself is just to end up being an Olympic champion as well as hopefully getting a world record at some point. You know, I want to win, I want to be successful, I want to be the best at everything that I do. So I'm going to set those high goals for myself and whether or not I'm able to accomplish it is okay, but as long as I'm chasing that dream, I think I'll be all right.